Hello and good afternoon. This is Anna from Kinder Books and uh, today for our Kinder Books story time I would like to um, introduce you to a title called The Little Hummingbird um, written by Michael Nicol Yakulanas and it was published by Greystone Books. The Little Hummingbird by Michael Nicol Yakulanas. To the indigenous peoples of East Africa, the Southern American Altiplano and the Northern Pacific Islands, you have done so much for so long. Here is the story of the great forest that caught on fire. The terrible fire raged and burned. All of the animals were afraid and fled from their homes. The elephant and the tiger ran, the beaver scurried and the frog led the way. Above them birds flew in panic. The creatures huddled at the edge of the forest and watched, all except one. Little Hummingbird did not abandon the forest. She flew as fast as she could to the stream. She picked up a single drop of water in her beak. Little hummingbird flew back and let the water fall onto the ferocious fire. She dashed to the stream and brought another drop and she continued back and forth, back and forth. The other animals watched little hummingbird and they were frightened. What can I do, sobbed rabbit. The fire is hot and I'm scared. This fire is so big, howled wolf, and I'm so small. I can't do anything about this fire, croaked frog. My wings will burn, cried owl. Little hummingbird continued her work. She flew quickly, picking up more water and putting it drop by drop onto the burning forest. Finally, Big Bear said, Little hummingbird, what are you doing? Little hummingbird looked at the other animals and she said, I'm doing what I can. The Amazing Hummingbird Hummingbirds are amazing. Not only are they beautiful, they can also fly up to 50 kilometers, that's 31 miles per hour, and hover in midair by flapping their wings more than 50 times per second. And they are the only birds able to fly backwards. More than 350 species of this extraordinary little bird live on Earth, all in the Western Hemisphere. The hummingbird appears in the stories of many peoples, including the parables of indigenous peoples of South, Central and North America. The hummingbird often symbolizes beauty, agility, as well as hope. This story of a small hummingbird determined to put out the forest fire is told by the Quechua people of Ecuador and Peru. The Chimchim people of the North Pacific describe the hummingbird as joyful messenger. If she appears during a time of sorrow or pain, they know that healing will soon follow. The hummingbird is often thanked for bringing life-giving rain. In a story from the Pueblo people of the southwestern United States, a hummingbird gathers clouds from the four directions in order to bring rain to douse the flames that are burning the earth. In the language of the Haida Nation or of the North Pacific, the hummingbird is called Duk Duk Tiam, an imitation of the delicate bird song's song and the sound of its beating wings. Little hummingbird in the burning forest and the hummingbirds in the stories of many peoples show us it is not always the largest or the loudest that can do the most good. Little hummingbirds' efforts are a reminder that the one who is not afraid to act can make the biggest difference. Thank you for listening. This was The Little Hummingbird by Michael Nicole Yakolanos, published by Graystone Books.